Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Mancillon. I wanted to wish you a good day and uh, come to pull out a few cards to look uh, very briefly uh, the condition for the months of August. Uh, first, I wanted to say about uh, I was trying to talk about some deep spiritual things about the universe of universes in my last video, those things that are uh, before creation, before the creation of the cosmos. So those are very difficult to understand or to explain, uh, even when you can uh, sense and know them. Uh, this, those teachings have been coming came into my life in 1993-94 uh, through the book of Urantia. Since then I've been able to verify those things, that's why I'm talking about them. Uh, yet, uh, in essence, what we need to do is to, to connect to our to our soul and spirit, so that we we do not need to project all that far in order to um, to, uh, to 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 connect to those uh, the, to 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 discover the, the spirituality is within us. We don't need to project outside or anything. Um, and, and most of the, the spiritual teachings of the universe will tell you that you want to connect to the source, the oneness of all, and then you want to invoke the, the, the father and the mother of the universe, the divine masculine and divine feminine. So in order to anchor those energies, those are the most uh, local creator gods that we need to, to connect and commune with. Essentially, we um, we are moving from material to to, um, to more ancient to spiritual. Uh, I, I, I started to talk about absonite beings, transcendental beings from paradise. There are one thousand orders of those beings, but they have really nothing to do with time and space. Therefore, uh, you can only contact them once you you reach above that level of time and space because otherwise they have absolutely nothing to do with um, yet they, uh, they are informing us the, the the architects of the master universe are the the senior order of that uh, that transcendental um, uh, transcendent of the transcendental beings and so they are uh, they, they, they kind of um, they are the future of time and space and though fr from uh, from being able to to observe the, the, uh, the, the, those orders uh, of reality, we can get a glimpse into the future of the be, uh, beyond time and space, what will happen. But uh, it may be premature to speak about all those things. Right now we live in, uh, in uh, the sub-universe of 12-dimensional matrix and we're trying to leave the third and fourth dimension, the dimensions of duality, to move into the unity of the fifth, sixth and seventh dimension. And so we, it is the connection through the, we will connect through the soul. Um, our soul is really the, the main uh, projector of reality and it is uh, and our guides are here to help us assist our soul to align with our spirit and our spirit align with the spirit of creation of the creator <coughs> I, I said that um, I, I started to, to uh, investigate uh, philosophy uh, recently but in a sense that's not really true because ever since I was young I, I, I was uh, always uh, I always loved philosophy, but my philosophy I was studying was the I Ching, was Confucius, Lao Tzu, was Buddha, Zen Buddhism, uh, the spiritual school of non-being, so it was very Eastern philosophy, and recently I opened myself to, to the, the possibility of exploring all of the different kind of Western philosophy. Um, and there are some very interesting things in uh, in many uh, m many uh, many of them. Um, but for the most part, there is a, uh, I see that the, the, they underestimate God. They do not know God, and therefore they underestimate they underestimate themselves and they underestimate God. For from a spiritual point of view, from a phys philosophical point of view, the, the law of one is the highest uh, the, uh, the highest uh, philosophy, and it's very simple: all is one, and one is all. So once you know yourself as the one, uh, you connect to the one that is all and then from there the, the, there is no more need for philosophy it is just an increase in frequency and vibration as, as you are able to integrate those new subtle frequencies for when we move into spiritual realm there is a lot of subtleties and therefore paradoxes that are uh, inevitable yet they have to be accepted there are paradox and things that uh, that, that uh, opens up to, to more quantum form of living uh, rather than just being uh, linear. We've been educated into this linear fashion and so it is difficult to break free but that is really what's, what's happening. The higher light of the higher forces of the universe are moving the earth into the fifth dimension that will happen through the next 200 years but we do not need, we do not want to wait for that. We do want to activate all those potential within us now and so we are able to share that with the world anchor this, this light and so we, we participate in doing that every time we have a good thought um, for someone else or for ourselves even or everything we do we, it's not so much about 
acting so much. It's about being, being in, in, in the presence, being in serenity, being in uh, contentment, being in gratitude, and from there so much can happen. So um, uh, another, the last thing I wanted to say about, uh, just as comment, because I, about this last video I made, I, I felt I was a bit ambitious to try to explain this but um, in a sense many scientists uh, are, or philosophers not scientists just yet but philosophers have been trying to find first cause wh where those things come from for um, but that will be quite impossible from a scientific point of view because there are many secondary causes and associated causes that will always keep a mystery within the, the realm of matter in relationship to the infinite spirit and the divine spirit within all things. So uh, this is why it has to be accepted from a faith point of view in order to be integrated. Um, and from there you, you feel no need to prove to, to anything, anyone, once you discover something, it, it's fine, uh, it, it stands on its own. Uh, yet, uh, there will come a point in time when some of those uh, higher understanding will be applied to, to physical science and will be able to create new technology or receive galactic technologies that, are, um, that, that will make our life a lot better and, and will also be able to restore the ecology of our planet, restore the, the pristine state. The, the, um, our planet is... Um, is, is, is really not in a, I mean, uh, she's a wonderful multidimensional being, but uh, uh, many aspects of her physical aspects are not um, in, in, in top shape. You know, the, the ocean is not really clean, and we have nuclear energy, and we have uh, all kinds of um, dark things that are still going on. It's part of the process, but yet we want to, if possible, move through a, a new. Uh, new portals that will allow us to, to, to envision new solutions and, and to be able to restore, to, to return to, to a more natural state of living. It will take some time, but um, I do believe this is really what's going on. So, the situation for us this month is the mind, the mind, the mind is a trick, trickster, it's the ego, it's the ego mind, and, and the ego mind is a trickster, it is a, you will never be able to decipher the true realities of the soul, uh, nor will you be able to filter emotion, so uh, the mind is, is, is a tool, but it is not, uh, although in hermetic, say, hermetic uh, belief all is mine, um, it is, it is a, from a different mind, uh, uh, the connection to understanding has to come through mind, but there are, there are certain things that cannot be reasoned out, and so it is good to, when we can't reason it out to let go, like um, Spinoza said, the exile of ignorance, just to let it, let it be, just let God be, and, 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 and life will reveal itself when, when it's the time. So, um, so in essence, we, what we want to do when we um, when we, we are not, uh, our mind is, uh, we are in confusion or we are not, we're not clear in our mind is to let go and, and go into our heart, trust, breathe, ask for guidance and then guidance is provided. And then we move into experiencing. There is a far more uh, deeper level of connection, of feeling a sense of connectedness between all things. What has come to, to oppose that is, is the is the void, is the great nothingness, is the great teacher. It is the everything is the, the everything that is is not. Everything is in transition. Everything is in transformation, and therefore, being in the void is where there is the most transformation. When you can stand in the void, in between space, in between time, in between, there is all kinds of um, understanding that will come from our study of void and emptiness. For the Buddha said, uh, void is the form and the form is the void. Uh, what we see, um, and yet there is great, fr from that great darkness, there is light, the mystery from, from that, fr fr from being able to accept, to stand within the void without having to project backwards or forwards. The, if we stay long enough in there, something will come out of the void that will uh, transform our, our perception of past and future. What we see right now before us is clinging to the past. So it is the past coming back. The past will come back until we, until we have a proper attitude in relationship to it. Uh, there is nothing wrong about the past. Uh, it is what we do not want from the past is some uh, negative patterns of, of experience that will, that will cycle. So it is important to, to look at the past with compassion, but not to hang on to it, to let it go, to accept it as something that was precious, no matter how painful or how difficult it is. It is something precious that has taught us some lesson, but once the lesson is learned, we can move forward. And um, the danger in moving forward is not to fall into duality. 
for everything has two sides. Uh, every time, if we try to go too much to one side, it will turn into its opposite. So, so the, the so so the idea is to be temperate, to go to stay in the center of thing, and to try to elevate yourself above the, the this duality. Yet every emotion can be turned into its opposite. Every um, what is it? everything is connected, but but they are they are just a different frequency of things, and so. Uh, from the realm of duality, everything is always in opposition, everything in contradiction. Uh, so, so, um, so that can create a certain um, uh, a, the idea of, of sorrow, and uh, so sorrow shouldn't be um, shouldn't be something that makes us sad. It is something that is supposed to wake us up to something, to to force us to react to something. And so, once we react to it, we find harmony. Everything flows. But we need to create this reaction, even if it's um, to be gentle with yourself, but move forward in the direction you know your heart is calling you to to move forward. What's uh, in the subconscious is control. Control. We cannot control the outside world, but we can control our inside. Um, for for many many millennium, the world has been about controlling nature, controlling the world, controlling society, controlling those people, controlling this, controlling that. But this is um, this was just a temporal uh, setup that no longer works. All of those who seek to control the world through their their own ego self power will uh, eventually uh, be very disappointed that. Those things no longer work. For now, the power has to come from the control within, the control, controlling yourself, controlling your your, your thoughts, your emotion, your choice. The control has to be within. What we are now, we are at the point of letting go. It is about letting go. It's about uh, not holding on to those things. And we know those things. They're, they're not to be uh, judged. They're not to be uh, criticized. They're just things. And so we, we um, uh, if we become angry about ourselves because we are doing something we know we shouldn't do, uh, like addictions or anything like that, it, it, it will become impossible. The judgment will make it impossible for us to break free of the circle the cycle. So the only way is to accept that the whatever thing it is and, and to 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 to, um, to accept it in a way that um, that you see it as a lesson that uh, that is no longer needed. And, and from there it is like uh, I'll take an example uh, um, let's say uh, as an ex smoker um, if I feel sometimes there's an emotion and I feel like ah, maybe I should take a cigarette to bring the emotion down or to calm myself, but in essence, it's um, the, the the fact that there is a feeling that you want to have that uh, that cigarette is actually uh, your body informing you that there is a deadly poison inside your body that's trying to get a, get out and your emotion is pushing it out and so so once you get you realize of that the, the desire to, to to take another cigarette will go away. So it's something. Uh, want to work with and then we find the breakthrough we break through we move into something new we move into something uh, sometimes making one tiny change can change a whole lot of things so it is very very important to pay attention to details and from there what's coming up in the future is moment to moment the ability to to walk in the sky and to know that there is uh, everything will be uh, flowing freely before us the, this the, the next card is the card of um, that represents the self, the questionnaire, and here we have postponement. It means that uh, the, 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 wheel, the wheel is not sure enough yet that it wants to go through the windows, and so it, it will remains, it remains in this black, black and white world, and it will, it is not, it's looking at this beautiful landscape, but it doesn't know if it can pass through that window, and so it's like waiting, uh, waiting, observing outside. Uh, in essence, the, the, this card, what this card tells you is the time is now, act now. There is no, no, there is no need to wait for, to, for, for another time to do what you feel you need to do. And from there, you, you, there is all kinds of new light. It's called beyond illusion. It is the kind of judgment. It is, it is a force, a transcendental, uh, the transcendental forces of the invisible world, of the soul and the spirit that, that emerge from that once we are able to, to realize that, um, that, all, um, uh, that we don't need to wait for anything. We can just be. And then from beingness, there is no more need. And when there is no more need, all things can come to us. It's when there is a, there is a feeling of unfulfilled needs that we create obstacles for those things to come to us. Uh, what comes to us from the outside world is ripeness. So it is like fruits. The, the work has been done. The fruits will, come, will fall when it's the right time. And so enjoy it. <laughs> um, appreciate it and be grateful for it, of course. 
with the uh, inner emotion, our, our hopes and fears, we have the card of silence. Silence is vast. Silence is more vast than the universe. There is nothing more vast than silence. Yet it is very, po uh, very difficult to find the true silence within our mind. It is something we work on. We work on for for um, we work on it, and, and and so eventually we are able to to find more silence within ourselves. And the more silence we find, the more uh, the more we can discover. It is it is very much connected. Those those two cards, the void and the silence, are working together, both on the emotional level and um, on the overall um, influence. And the key and the outcome to uh, to this uh, month is ordinariness ordinariness it means the to see the, to appreciate life the simplicity of life in its natural state to to be able to someone that's walking through a field and um, and there is really just picking flowers so there is it doesn't look very extraordinary but but there is beauty in the ordinary and so as we we move we accept the ordinary we allow things to grow naturally and say and then uh, eventually the, the fruits can fall once we are uh, fully um, fully humble enough to, to, to accept each and every aspect of our life every day, the, to make to accept the, the simple side of life, to, to, to um, the, it's, it's also a card that tells us to, to, it's good to connect to nature, to appreciate nature, because uh, in its more simple form, um, nature is, um, is a, as transcendental aspect as well and can reconnect us to, to, uh, to, to, um, to a sense of well-being that uh, we, we might have lost uh, at some point during the evolution of man that when all those technologies were developed we lost contact with nature and nature spirits and such and so so it is a time of reconnection I hope you will enjoy those times and uh, that all things will flow for you uh, one moment at a time I wish you a good day I'll talk to you later Namaste <laughs>